If you have an Excel file that you want to share with other people, but you don't want them to change anything, you do have a few options. One is to enable protection on the Excel file, and the other is to send them a PDF. Now, in the past, if you wanted to create a PDF, you needed additional software. But with Office 2007 and later on Windows, and Office 2011 for the Mac, you can actually create a PDF right out of the box. Let me demo it for you on the Mac. I've got this Excel file here. I just need to go to File, Print, click on PDF at the bottom, choose Save as PDF, and then give my PDF a name. And I'll just keep the same name as the original Excel file, just take off the XLSX. So the ability to create a PDF on the Mac is built right into the operating system. Let's come out of this, and there is my PDF, which I can just open up in Preview. Now on Windows, if I open up this Excel file, this is Excel 2013. I can go to File, choose Save As. I want to save this to my desktop. And from the Save As Type dropdown on the Save dialog box, I've got down near the bottom PDF. Again, it suggests using the same file name as the original Excel file. I'm just going to accept that by clicking Save. And it automatically opens up Adobe Reader, which I've got installed, and shows me the PDF file. However, what if you wanted to go the other way? I've seen this many, many times where I currently work. Someone has a PDF and they need to change it. And they don't have the original Excel file to edit, save, and then convert to the PDF. Well, there is an answer. There's actually quite a few apps and online services that can do this. And one such service that I came across is convert PDF to XLS.com. You simply take your PDF and upload it. So click browse, select the PDF, click open. You then put your email address into the box on step two, click send. And that's it. You wait for about 30 minutes. In the meanwhile, if you're in a hurry, they offer you the opportunity to download a trial of Able to Extract, which is a program that does the same as the online service, but has a few more features. So 30 minutes later, I have an email with a link to download my file. I click on the link, which takes me to this screen, and click on Free Download. My file is downloaded and I can go and find it. There it is. Open it up. And there is the PDF file converted back into Excel and it's made a very good job of it. We've got editable text. We've got the figures. The only thing we don't have, of course, is the formulas because it do doesn't know what the formulas are. But at least I've got the editable data. If I want to go back and put the formulas in, I can do that. So there we are. That is how to convert a PDF file back into an Excel file. Hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about Excel, please visit my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk.